it's Charles Johnny. That just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smooth, then they realize they'd rather have Turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles James. Say, man, shout out to my audience. Shout out to those that's rocking with me. Yeah, we back in the kitchen. There's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shit. Oh, shit, man. I, I, I waited pretty goddamn late to do this video. It was last minute. Um, I'm going to be honest, man. I just looked at a message on Instagram. Uh, uh, brother was like, man, say, man, um, you know, keep that sauce going, man. Uh, I ain't heard from you. Everything good with you. And I was like, yeah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you checking on for me. Listen, uh, much appreciation. Uh, sometimes it's good to check up on people, you understand me? Yeah, we all go through things. Um, but yeah, everything good with 903. Listen, um, sometimes I just have to, you know, you just got to take a, every little step I take will be to get, yeah, you just got to take a step back. Sometimes, boxing is a very passionate sport. And I'm very, I'm even more passionate about my people. That that's way bigger than boxing, but boxing is very passionate sport. And I get in my feelings. I don't give a fuck what you motherfuckers think. Yeah, I get in my feelings about this shit. I get tired of the mistreatment of black boys. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. I can't take this shit no more. I tried to be nice, but anyway, um, nah, uh, but yeah, sometimes I feel like Chappelle. Now it's time to attack the blacks. But anyway, uh, now. Nah, uh, it's a very passionate sport, and I just got to be honest with you, boxing fans, I, I just know if you're a real boxing fan, you don't give a fuck about Tim Zoo versus Keith Thurman. Is it going to be a good fight? Yeah, it's going to be a good fight, and, and Keith Thurman is very entertaining. I got to be honest. He going to build the fuck out that fight. Keith Thurman is just must-see TV. Even in a up in age, he's an exciting fighter. He's exciting uh, during press conferences. I love his face-offs. Um, Keith Double E with the Elf is just, just, just must see TV. And even though Tim Zoo is very undeserving of a pay per view, uh, he is an exciting fighter. I gotta say, he is a very good fighter. Take nothing from him. Tim Zoo is a damn good fighter. He is not. It ain't no hype. Uh, he's not a fraud. None of that. It's gonna take a real fighter to beat him. He not easy work. That that's I want to make that very clear. I never underestimate Tim Zoo is a bad motherfucker. I think he can be beat. I think some fifty-four pounders that can beat him though. Uh, it's a couple, but he tough. Tim Zoo gonna be a tough fight for a lot of fighters. I think Earl. I I, I think Earl can beat uh, Tim Zoo, but that'll be a tough fight for him. I think I got Earl, but that's a tough fight. That's a tough fight. I got Earl beating him, but that's a tough fight. I got Bud stopping Tim Zoo though. Too elusive. It, it's the too unpredictable. Uh, the counters. It he the strong. It's just and he got it's the long arms too. Why I think Bud be some easier and it's the angles he throw his punches from. It's them long ass arms and the punch placement. I think he'll stop Tim Zoo uh, easier. But Earl Earl will have a. It'll be a dog fight. But I think Earl will, will beat him. But anyway, um, Tim Zoo is a very tough fighter though. That motherfucker tough, and I've seen him get better uh, within time. In time, it will reveal. Yeah, in time, uh, I've seen Tim Zoo. You don't, you don't got better, bro. But I just know that boxing fans, we just must be on it, bro. I ain't no, we're not. It's, it's not pay per view excitement. It's not, man. Say, man, I can't wait for Tim Zoo. Ain't nobody saying that. I ain't heard that shit in the barbershop, did it? We ain't talking about it ain't big like that, bro. I'm going to tell you something. If Tim Zoo had been on the co-main of a tank fight, yeah. Yeah. If if Tank was fighting uh, Frank or just, yeah, Frank or some shit like that, or, or if he was fighting Shakur, more preferably. If he was fighting Shakur and Tim Zoo versus Keith Thurman was the co-main, that would be a fire card. But this shit ain't no pay-per-view, and everybody know it, and we just... We gonna we gonna put up with it, but uh, PBC is trying desperately at making Tim Zoo a superstar. I don't know if they'll be successful because um, even though the cards are stacked against Keith Thurman, um, 
he can beat Tim Zhu, but it's the cars are definitely you're moving up in weight and you're inactive. One thing about Tim Zhu, he ain't the best, but he been active as fuck, and he very sharp right now. Motherfucker been active. He been fighting very regularly, so it's a difference. Listen, uh, Boots, I think you need to go to the fight. I think you need to call out the winner. It'll be a good fight if Tim Zhu win, but if Keith win, oh shit. If Keith win, you got a real passing of the torch fight. If Keith win, it, it's just I'm just being un I like Tim Zoo versus Boots, but if Keith win, Keith versus Boots, it's it's just sauce versus sauce. That's all. Tim Zoo is a comfort, tough fighter, a tough Australian European fighter. But I'm just saying if Keith double E with the F win, him versus Boots, it it, it the styles, it'll be very interesting. Um, I think you should go to the fight. Um, I tell you this though, I think your next fight, uh, because right now Stanley Onis is uh, he just in the middle of the uh, sea. He just looking for, he just looking for a ship, bro. Uh, Virgil Ortiz pulled out the fight, then he moved up. Uh, Keith Thurman was supposed to fight Stanley Onis, so maybe they're gonna put you against Stanley Onis. Um, I would hope that it's in Philly. Uh, I'm just thinking that PBC, if you can let a fighter from Australia come headline a pay-per-view card in Vegas and give him a, a, a American debut, can you let an American fighter have a fight in his hometown? I just don't think it's that hard for us to ask. It's not It's not a whole lot to ask up. I think Boots need to fight in Philly, bro. I really, because I keep talking about it and I ain't going to let it go. Uh Boots got to be a star, bro. You just can't. We just can't. I'm just being real, bro. When you talk boxing, intellect boxing down if Boots don't become a star. It'll be a disgrace to boxing if Boots never become a star. Because like I said, bro, Roy Jones was not a superstar. He wasn't. He was never no superstar. Pernell Whitaker was never a superstar. I just don't want another spectacular uh, fighter that got so much sauce not be a superstar. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Roy Jones, when you look at him, he should have been bigger than Floyd. Way more spectacular. I mean, exciting. He wasn't better, though. He, Roy Jones was not better than Floyd. But when you look at the excitement, bro, and the shit he could do, uh, you think Roy Jones would have been bigger. You think James Tony? James Tony wasn't no fucking superstar. He wasn't. It's a lot of them earn pride. They wasn't no superstar. All I'm saying is just there's too much sauce done pass through boxing without it being appreciated enough. And I'm just hoping and I'm wishing on a star. And I'm just hoping and wishing that, bro, uh, boxing does not give us a disservice by not acknowledging Jerron Boots in his, as a, like that shit they saying about anyway, a generational talent. Boots is a generational talent. We ain't seen no shit like this. I ain't seen it, bro. Even though I think Bud a better fighter, we still ain't seen nothing like Boots, bro. Ain't seen nothing like it. Um, I'm going to tell you another thing about Boots that's very underrated. He get hit, but his defense is very underrated. The way he slipped them punches, and he got a good inside game. He very good mid-range. He slipped a lot of shots. He slip a lot of shots, and he like to slip and come through with the uppercut up underneath. He, he, he very slick, bro, very slick. Um, I'm just saying, Boots, at this point, bro, if you can't get standing on this, bro, just go and go to 54. If you can't, and I'm going to tell you a good fight for you. I'm going to tell you two good fights for you. I, I'm just tired of it, bro. Can Boots get the to uh, torch passed to him? And before I get to that, I just want to say this. Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, I've been saying he ain't got to fight Boots. He ain't got to fight. He ain't ducking Boots, and he ain't got to fight. Him. You, if, 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 if Tank ain't got to fight Devin, uh, Terrence Crawford ain't got to fight Boots. Just like Canelo ain't got to fight David Benavidez because he didn't fight Jamal and Andre in a prime, and so I ain't finna big for no fucking David Benavidez. And if Jamal or Devin Haney or Earl Spence had ever got caught with cocaine in their system, we'll be calling them crackheads. That's all I'm saying, bro. But anyway, um... Now, um, if if shit was real, <laughs> if shit was real, I would love for the Terrence Crawford versus Jerome Boots in his fight to happen. I would love it. 
after the Earl Spence rematch. I would love it. I would love for Boots to get the winner. I would love whoever win the rematch for Boots to get the winner. I would love it. I think it would be great for boxing, but that's not what boxing does, bro. Look at this matchmaking. I'm just saying, bro. Look at how Tim Zoo. Look at how they feed him. How they fed Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison had to go to Australia and fight him. Look at these home cookings, bro. It's just. Nah, bro. So, all I'm saying is, uh, nah, we just don't demand certain shit. Like I said, people act like Charles Conwell don't exist. They act like he just don't exist. Like he just ain't a hell of a fighter. Jaha Tucker, dangerous. Xander Zayas, it's dangerous. He's some 154 pounders that's in their prime. And, and all, all of those fighters I just named is ready for Tim Zoo right now. Jaha Tucker, ready right now. Xander Zaya is ready right now. Charles Conwell is ready right now. They ready right now. And I still think Jamel Charlo is better than Tim Zoo. Just me. It's just what I think. And I think the way Jamel punching at 154, he still may arguably be, be, be the best fighter at 154. Yeah. As long as he don't do that scary shit he did with Canelo, it's going to be hard beating Jamel. It's going to be hard beating him. Um... Listen, bro. Like I said, if shit was real, I would love for Bud to fight you. But Bud ain't got. And you know what I really don't like? It ain't that we saying, man, Terrence Crawford versus Boots is a hell of a fight. No, it's that. Oh, Bud ain't got nowhere to go. You motherfuckers. I swear, you motherfuckers. Y'all just keep my name out your mouth. In my big pokey votes. Rest in peace. All I'm saying is, bro, stop hating. Stop hating. Appreciate Terrence Crawford, bro. We didn't do it, bro. We never, we, he was never appreciated in boxing, bro. Just appreciate the man. Stop acting like, okay, you done this, but now you got to do this. Let's stop it, bro. We don't do it with everybody else. Like I'm saying, bro, it'll be a difference if we were saying Turn Crawford versus Boots is a good fight. Instead of saying, oh, Bud got to fight Boots. Oh, nah, why you ain't fighting Boots? Oh, oh, oh. Nah, Boots got the IBF title now. Get your belt back. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You motherfuckers just desperate. You just desperate, bro. Just, you just desperate and looking for any reason to say Terrence Crawford ain't great. So, but, okay, Boots, the fight's for you. Um, Erickson Lubin is a good fight for you. I think it's a solid, solid fight for you. And I I think that's a good Philly fight. I'm telling you, bro, Lubin versus Boots in Philly is a good-ass fight. And if you can put Tim Zoo versus Keith, double E, with the F, a uh, Thurman, uh, on pay-per-view, you motherfuckers can put uh, Lubin and uh, Boots on pay-per-view. Yeah, Boots just as big as Tim Zoo, and he's just as big as Keith, double E, with the F. So I think in Philly, that should be on pay-per-view. Since people say, since you motherfuckers want to put, I swear to God, one thing I can say, and I never make my channel about Al Heyman like most black channels do. I never do, because Bob the cricketest one of them all. And uh, he did a lot of fucked up shit to a lot of black fighters, uh, most in, uh, including uh, Ali, especially Ali. But anyway, uh, so I ain't got no attack specifically on Al, but you... I'll have y'all put anything on pay per view, bro. You just Tim Zoo versus Keith Thurman. There is nothing pay per view about it. Fans are not excited about it, bro. They're not. No, nobody's excited about it. They're not. It's like, oh, well, cool. That's that's all the motherfucker said when they said uh, Tim Zoo versus Keith. Thur mm, cool. I'm just being honest, bro. Two years, two, three, four years ago, Keith Thurman was hot. It's just like rappers and the dope boy that left and went to the pen for about two, three years, bro. Somebody else started rising, and the the longer you stay out the ring, bro, the longer the more your name diminish. And that's what happened to you, Keith Double E with the F. Um, you just ain't as hot as you was, bro. Ain't nobody excited. I told you, bro. Ain't nobody talking about this shit in the barbershop, but no shit like that. <laughs> Listen, get you, get you lubing, bro. Get you lubing. Um, it's a good fight for you. You know another thing? You, you know, motherfucker want to say Terrence Crawford um, uh, should pass the torch. You know what I think should really pass the torch? And ain't nobody talking about it. Ain't no pressure. And I mentioned this six months ago. Danny Garcia should pass the torch to Jerome Boussinis. And it should be in Philly. And that shit huge. I, I'm going to keep it 100. One thing about Danny got a name. Danny got a name and you had that shit in Philly. That shit will be huge. 
that's pay per view. That's a pay per view fight. If Tim Zoo versus Keith Double E with the F can be a pay per view fight, Danny Garcia versus Rumbles, and this is a pay per view fight in Philly. It's gonna set Philly on fire, and that's a fact. That's his coming out party. That's a passing of the torch. But you know, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. But I had somebody tell me, uh. That Keith, I mean Danny Garcia, and Danny, I like, I always like Danny. He ain't never seemed weird to me. But they say his father said that uh, some, yeah, Terrence Crawford with his nappy ass head, and he said that uh, Danny's father uh, su uh, supposedly said that yeah, he's a Euro Latino. So yeah, I don't know. Could have been. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, it ain't far fetched. Like I said, bro, uh, it ain't just me that paint this black Latino or white Latino. That is a true thing. You either one of the two, bro. You one of the, you either a black Cuban or a white boy Cuban. You a black Puerto Rican or a white Euro Puerto Rican. That's what I think. You a black Mexican or a white Mexican. That That's the only way it is, bro. So, anyway, uh... I, I always consider Danny a black Latino, but since his father says he's a Euro, <laughs> yeah, I guess he's just a white boy at heart. But it, and you know, Angel did say that you know suspect shit, you know, the press conference and shit. But anyway, uh, I don't know their their family history. It could just be speculation. I don't know, but uh, yeah, you just gotta yeah, it's sides of the street, you know. And I ain't talking about a side, b side, but um. I, I would really love for Danny Garcia to pass the torch to Boots, bro. And Danny Dangerous. And that motherfucking left hook, can it can clip anybody. That motherfucker got one of the best left hooks. Probably still got one of the best left hooks in the game. That motherfucker got a mean left hook. But I just think that, bro, we need to promote Boots way more than just saying Bud ducking him. I, I would love for the Bud to fight you, bro, but it's, it's, more, to, it's more to fighting than fighting Bud, bro. And me personally, I, it ain't that you you don't have the tools. I just think, I think Bud's is too experienced for you. I just think he too, too, too creative right now. You just ain't seen nothing close to it. You ain't seen nothing close to it, bro. Um, just styles, bro. I just think Bud would, would finish you, and it'd be devastating, devastating, devastating fashion. I just think he would. I think he would. And I'm going to tell you something. You could actually be having success at the time of the stoppage, but Bud would stop you. That's just my opinion. It could be a situation where you having success, but Bud going to clip you, bro. He's them long arms. It's just the way he see it. His ring IQ, bro. Is, but I'm telling you, bro, Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, has one of the most underrated ring IQs of all time. His ring IQ is different. And... Another thing about Terrence Crawford that make him so special. Terrence Crawford got his rhythm is never the same. That motherfucker like James Brown and <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker like James Brown. Uh, you know, and he very unpredictable. I'm just saying, in my opinion, and Boost is very unpredictable, but it's different. Boost is unpredictable more in the athletic way, but it's not so much ring IQ. He just can do a lot of shit athletically. Bud can do a lot of shit athletically, but his ring IQ is different. I've seen him make adjustments. I've seen him make adjustments in the crucial moments. In crucial moments of a fight, I've watched him make adjustments. I watch him change the beat. I watch him change the tempo. I watch him change speeds on his punches. So it's just things that I've seen that why I think Boots, at this point in your career, you're not ready for him. But it's, it's fights like Danny. It's fights like Lubin. Those are fights that'll get you prepared for a, a Bud to me. But um, those are good fights for you. I really think you need to be at this fight and put. Pre I want to see you call out more than just uh, Bud, bro, and Spence. I really want to see you put pressure. I would love to see you put pressure on Tim Zoo. I would love it. I would love for YSM them and all Greg them, all them Bozy them. I would love to see them, bro. Start calling out somebody besides Terrence Crawford. That's all I want to see, bro. I want to see y'all call somebody else a duck besides Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence who are fighting each other. Just got to do something different, Pimp. Um, I'm going to tell you a badass super fight. Uh, and, and by three, three, three more fights, 
Boost versus Zandazayas is a bad motherfucker. It's a bad ass fuck. Because I think Zandazayas is better than a lot of people think. I think Xander ready. I think he ready for Tim Zoo right now. I think Xander Zaya is ready, bro. I think he ready. I think he ready, and I think they... It's like they don't know what they got. Xander, Xander is at a stage in his career where he... He need a Jahai Tucker. He need a Tim Zoo. He need a Lubin fight. He need one of them fights to go on and go to the next level. Or you're going to keep just knocking out dudes they put in front of him. So... Um, that could be a good super fight in the uh, future. Uh, uh, Boost versus uh, Xander. Yeah. Hell of a fire fight. But um, I just don't want to see another career of a black fighter. Just Andre Ward, bro. I just... The boy should have been a fucking pay-per-view star. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, bro. It ain't... Because I'm looking at fighters who don't always get knockouts. And it's cool when they don't do it and shit. I'm just saying, bro. Andre Ward is one of the most unappreciated fighters of all time. Just like Larry Holmes was. Larry Holmes is one of the most unappreciated fighters of all time. Vander Holyfield. It's a lot of them, bro. It's a lot of them. Mike McCallum. It's a lot of them. Just, just unappreciated talent. Um... I think Andre Ward was way better than a lot of people. It, it's 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 just different. Motherfucker was different. Motherfucker was different. You know, Chad Dog, he was never the same after that fight. Never the same. And yeah, people say he moved down in weight and that's what had done it, but Andre Ward beat the dog shit out. And then and then after that O'Donnell Stevenson just destroyed him. But Andre Ward was very underrated in my opinion. Oh um, but uh, Jerome Bruce Ennis, in my opinion, got the potential to surpass all of them. Andre Ward, um, a lot of these dudes. He got the potential to surpass everybody. He uh, Right now, I already got him better than Shakur, better than Tank, better than Devin. I just don't think he's better than Bud. And I think, I think Spence, um, if he was to fight Spence, I pick, them the only two fighters I pick over him is Bud and Spence. You got to show me you can beat them too. But uh, other than that, bro, ain't nobody fucking with him. And he got the potential to surpass everybody. Except Bud. I I, I don't think nobody in boxing going to surpass. I got Bud top 10 of all time. I don't think nobody in boxing. Um, I don't know. You got Bruce Shushu Carrington. You got Abdullah. You got some bad boys coming up. Uh, Keyshawn is getting. Keyshawn Davis is getting better every fight. I don't know if you motherfuckers noticed that. And I'm so excited about this fucking Pedraza. Pedraza is going to test Keyshawn. And that's a fact. Keyshawn is really, I'm telling he's going to be tested. And at that point, Keyshawn is moving so fast. Next year, he's he going to be a world champion. Not this year, but next year, Keyshawn Davis will be a world champion. But Pedraza going to test him in many ways. But I, I don't know if any fighter would surpass Bud, in my opinion. Not even Boots. Uh, I don't know. If there was any fighter that could pass Terrence Crawford, it would be Boots. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that. Boots is the only fighter in boxing right now that I see that could ever surpass Terrence Crawford. Nobody else surpasses Terrence Crawford to me. Even though I love Bruce and Abdullah, they, it's exciting. It look, It's the shit. I still got to see some more fights. <laughs> I still got to see a little bit more from the eye test. Right now, though, Boots is the only fighter in boxing that could... I could see going down as a top 10, top 15, great of all time. Boots got that sauce. And I'm just telling you, bro, um, I think right now he would destroy uh, Tim Zoo. I think he'll stop Lubin. Um, Boots may be the only fighter to ever stop Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia got a granite chin. The only fighter to ever stop him, bro. Um... Just different, bro. Just different. Um, I'm just telling you, bro. It's a lot of fights out there for you. I just think that 147. Only thing left is standing on us. There's nothing else left. And the Barrios fight is cool. I think it's a little overrated, though. I think the Barrios is cool. Standing on us is a tougher fight than Barrios. Standing on us is a tougher fight than Barrios. He's undefeated. He he don't know how to lose yet. Barrios, when you clip him, he gets discouraged. And you're going to clip him early. And he's going to get discouraged. I want to see you discourage the fighter that ain't been discouraged yet. <laughs> and this is Stanley Owens. The motherfucker tough, but I think you're going to clip him. I think Stanley Owens is very similar to Villa, but he a little more tougher. 
You're a little more same shit as Villa, but a little more tougher. A little more tougher. But you're gonna stop him. But that's a good win for you. That's a good win. Uh like I said, I wanna I wanna feel it fight. I think we need to demand that shit. We want to demand Bud ducking him and demand this shit and demand Earl Spence hurry up and uh, fix his eyes so he can fight him. Uh, I think we need to get, we got to get boost in Philly, bro. You know, get him while it's about time. Put him back on a million dollars worth of game, bro. Put him back on the show. I wish y'all would just do a little more promotion towards him, bro. It's just, he got no buzz on his name, bro. That's all I'm saying. So here I am again with another boost video. This is 903 Box. Now I'm your host, Charles Jack. With that, I'm out.